Hello everyone, Nico and me here, and that is a bad angle. There's this isn't like, even much better. I'm um, got one on the floor. Ah! <laughs> Hello everyone, Nico and me here, and I was just so eager to make a video. I just came out of the shower just yelling, Hi YouTube, it's me, Nico and me, and today I'm talking about, and so on. So yes, today I'm talking about um, the Nintendo Direct that was just announced today. And to start off, I'm really, really, really happy that they decided to um, give like a 24-hour time period of announcement to the actual live stream instead of um, a uh, like a 48 or 72-hour uh, wait. Because last time I think it was a 48, 50-ish hour from the announcement to the actual direct, and it was, it's a bit annoying in a way because they're announcing an announcement. And um, when you're anticipating an announcement, the last thing you want to do is wait. So, uh, especially when you don't know what the announcement is exactly, and you really, really care about it. So, um, they kind of did what the Pokemon Direct. It was about, I think, like 38 hours. This one's just a bit over 24 hours. So, I'm happy they did that because um, if they said Nintendo Direct in a week, I would have literally just, like... I don't know how I would have been able to deal with it. Obviously, you have a lot of things you can do in 24 hours to fill up the time, so it's obviously not that um, hard to go through. If your game explained, you can make a 40-minute video for a 20-minute direct. I wish I could do that, honestly. Like, that's life goals. But, um, yeah, like, the problem is you just, you, you, the whole, you spend your whole 48, 72 hours just thinking what could be in that direct, and then you can't get anything done. So, Again, thank you, Nintendo. Thank you for Game Explain for giving me an hour of um, just mind-boggling speculation. And um, my speculations are going to be a bit different than yours, but um, I like your discussion. This wasn't meant to be shady in any type of way. Anyway, on to my video. What could be in the Nintendo Direct? Um, well, Animal Crossing Wii U is something I really, really, really hope could come. Uh, I'm going to start... Um, crazy then go modest and leave the rest of my crazy ideas at the end i feel like my crazy ideas are fun but they're just too crazy to explain but i'm um, talking about the direct itself it did say it's going to talk about just the um summer uh from now until the end of summer releases for the wii u and 3ds so no nx no pokemon sun and moon which i guess makes sense because could, I got this from Game Explain. See, their their long discussions they really teach you a thing or two. I'll leave a link. That's how much Game Explain. I got your back. I have a link to their discussion. How, that's see now like half my viewers are gonna leave me to go watch another discussion. I just shot myself in the foot. But see, anyways, they mentioned that what would be the point of having a Pokemon Direct if you're gonna explain more in the Nintendo Direct than you did the Pokemon Direct, if that makes sense. Because in the Nintendo Direct, or in the Pokemon Direct, all they explained was um, the logo, and that was basically the seventh generation. If they showed a trailer in the Nintendo Direct three days later, what was the point of the Pokemon Direct? Do you see what I mean? So, or what they meant. Um, so I don't, Pokemon Moon isn't gonna happen, sadly. Um, hopefully, Koro Koro, we might get something. Anyways, on to the Nintendo Direct. So, my bold prediction that I really, really hope will happen is Animal Crossing Wii U. The reason I say this is a chance is, number one, um, Animal Crossing is huge in Japan, and this could be their IT game in Japan for 2016 while they're waiting for the NX. Um, secondly, uh, they have the whole Wii U, uh, like, format and, like, just graphics. Because if you look at Animal Crossing... Um, Happy Home, not Happy Home Center, the other one, um, that I, only I bought, like, no one of my, anyways, no one of, none of my friends bought the Animal Crossing games in 2015, it made me really angry, I, um, the plaza, the, the fun, the Mario Party-like one, the, um, 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 why can't I think of it, the party one, how can, I'm looking it up, Amiibo Festival, I'm sorry, anyways, not many other people bought it, so I don't judge myself for forgetting, anyway, um, I loved it, honestly. Like, I don't know why so many people hated it, but it, it's, I understand it's focused on me, but anyway, anyway. So, 
they had, if you look at the game, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, they had the character models, all the character models, because they have a character model for every single Amiibo card, and the Amiibo cards basically have almost every single Animal Crossing villager. So you have all the character models in the Wii U, you have a lot of the town already designed, a lot of the scenes, there's parts of people's houses. You go inside like the Mabel Sisters store and all that. So a lot of the stuff seemed like they already designed it. And I can't really see them spending all the time making it for just Happy Animal Amiibo Festival. Um, so I think there's a possibility. Now for more of the modest uh, predictions. Um, they're going to talk about Federation Force for the Metroid. Sorry for all the people who want a new Metroid. You're probably going to have to wait for the NX. Um... Or NXU. I don't know. NX2. Are we really ever going to get another Metroid game? Um, no Zelda U. Um, I'm expecting a NX. Um, not an NX. I mean, I am expecting an NX dual release, like a crossover. Um, but I'm expecting a, an E3 announcement. Uh, I don't think they'd announce it here. Um, I expect more Pokemon info. I expect more um, Star Fox info. Now, a more modest approach is they just show up another trailer and uh, keep official the date. Second thing that could happen, another delay, which at this point, who cares anymore if you delay it again? Like, I'm excited for this game. I will buy it day one. But you know how many people you're losing by delaying it, like, five times now? Um, and by the time the game actually ends up coming out, if it's delayed again, which it's rumored to be delayed again, um... The NX is going to be out. It's just a mess, so they have to release it now. Thirdly, um, I hope this happens. They announce multiplayer um, things uh, incorporated with Star Fox and Amiibo for Star Fox. Um, like I said, I'm going to buy Star Fox day one. It's just I'm worrying about the people who are like, I've been waiting for a year. I could care less anymore. You know what I mean? But I'm still going to buy it. Um, other predictions. Um... They'll probably, uh, Twilight, I said Twilight Princess. Um, so those are like the three main games coming. Um, I expect a, um, the Shin Megami Tensei slash, um, Fire Emblem to get a release. Am I really expecting that though? I'm expecting a release date, if not a range of a month, like March, April, May. Um, just want to, just tell us what month it is. Um, and maybe another trailer or a demo, which I think they got a demo in Japan. That would be nice because I'm sure most people don't even know what the game is, so they'd like to try it out before they spend the $60. Um, besides that, Detective Pikachu, they haven't failed us with the, the spin-off Pokemon games. We had, like, Picross, we had Rumble World for the 3DS or whatever, we had um, the other one, Shuffle. There's been so many, like, spin-off Pokemon games that I wouldn't put it past them for putting Detective Pikachu in here for the North America dates. Um, uh, Fire Emblem Fates for, um, uh, Europe. I'm really pulling through for you guys in Europe. You deserve this game. It's so much fun. Um, it's really, really good. Um, I can't really think of anything else. I'm thinking more Amiibo. Um, maybe Star Fox or more Zelda Amiibo. Like, on their own little line. Um... Okay, so more for the crazy, I uh, guess, is uh, this one's not really crazy because it's been rumored, but uh, Paper Mario, a real Wii U title, um, they have to release at least a game or two in the summer. If you look at the other summer, I'm considering early September. New so scenery, summer. but like I was saying, they don't have many at all releases for summer 2016. Like, they have Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, which might actually come out in spring. That's another thing we'll probably see tomorrow. I don't know why I just came all loose-winded. You catch me rough. Anyways, they don't have many games at all that they're bringing to us in 2016 in the summer. So, something like a surprise Animal Crossing Wii U, a new Metroid game, a Paper Mario game, seems very, very logical. See how I turned like a burp into like a logical? Anyway, something seems to happen for the Wii U, at least a game or two, so Paper Mario and something else. Um, and for the 3DS, I have no idea what they're going to bring to us in the summer. I have no idea what they're going to bring to us in the spring. They need to think of a good release, because Fire Emblem Fleets covers um, most of the winter, the late winter, um, and uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon covers Holiday 2016. 
they probably still need a game there. Still need small, but still there. Um, because a lot, of, a lot of Nintendo fans aren't hardcore Pokemon fans too. I am both. I'm a huge Nintendo and Pokemon fan, but I guess Pokemon being your only game in the whole holiday season might be a bit too less. But at that time period, we might actually have Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon, we might actually have the NX, so um, it all might change. But for summer, we have nothing right now, so Paper Mario, at least for the Wii U, hopefully another game. Um, because they had Splatoon, they had... Um, all those like amiibo centric games then they had uh mario maker so i'm hoping um at the very least paper mario for the wii u and something for the 3ds i really can't think of anything i asked my friends there's nothing i really can see happening for the 3ds so i'll we'll just have to wait and see so what do you think is going to happen make sure to comment and subscribe and make sure to tell us in the comments by us i mean me so, just tell me, what are your predictions? What do you think is going to happen? I'm excited. It's tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, yes, I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.